This is my all meat, no potatoes review of a Ned Foss knife. Ned Foss knives do not have model numbers or names that I am aware of, so we're just going to have to refer to it as a Ned Foss. This is a very large folding pocket knife. It is a D2 steel blade that comes in just under 4 inches at 3.9 inches with a 5.35 hand inch handle, which gives you an overall length of about 9 and a quarter. As you can see, I have large hands. This thing fills my hands completely and then some. This is a very large, very heavy knife, which means that it is very hard to find a practical use or purpose for this knife. It doesn't fit any category well. It does have G10 handle scales that are extremely slick. They do have some uh, milling or work marring on the surface of these knives, so you can see where the G10 has been, been worked. It does have a belt clip that is not reversible and not deep carry. In addition to the belt clip, it does also come with a nylon webbing style sheath if you'd prefer to wear it on your belt, which actually might not be a bad idea given the size and weight of this knife. It is a very large, very heavy knife. It does have ball bearing action, so it allows the blade to open uh, fairly easily, even given the weight and size. Uh, it does have a very strong detent and stop there, so the knife is not going to just drop on your hand. You're going to have to use a little bit of force to get that blade to close. Overall, as far as build quality, it seems well built. Feels like it's built like a tank. Don't see any real issues with lockup, with opening, with craftsmanship, other than the few tooling marks that are on the G10. Overall, this is going to be a hard knife for me to give a rating to. If I'm giving you a value for your money, bang for your buck, if you are actually looking for a large, extremely large pocket knife that is fairly intimidating looking, has a cool blade shape, then I would say I would go ahead and give this a 6 out of 10 uh, based solely on the fact that you're looking for this style of knife.